Hi, Dean Craft with C2 Solutions here. One of the big disruptors to business over the last five years has been the decentralization of the office space. And essentially that means instead of having all your employees contained within the walls that is your business, you start to break that apart and have employees working from home and remotely and even overseas. The technology that enabled this has been like video conferencing, online chat and online presence. And one of the big uh, players in this space is obviously Google with Google Hangouts. So today I'm going to introduce you to Google Hangouts and how you can use it for team collaboration and start to decentralize and scale your business. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to walk you through using Google Hangouts. Both, It's basically the same for personal and for enterprise. Although as an enterprise you can control it a little bit more, which I'll just very quickly show you. The admins can control whether people can chat or talk or do both, whether the chat history is on, and chat history then actually appears in your Google search, which is really handy if you're trying to find a conversation in your Gmail, you'll find the Google Hangout conversation. Um, there's also whether they can share outside the organization and also place voice calls and video calls. Now to start getting uh, and start using it, all you need to do is go up into your Gmail and go into the nav menu and down to Hangouts. Now this may be down in this section down here, it depends, because these can be moved around. So just click on the Hangouts and you'll get this screen. Okay, from here you can um, pick someone and then do a video, phone or message or chat, okay? Um, but I'll just quickly show you how to install the actual app as well, which is really handy. So here's the apps for the phone and also the Hangouts dialer for the Android phone, which basically allows you to make calls, and the Chrome app for your uh, PC. So I'm just gonna install that now, and you'll see it actually creates um, this on the screen when it loads. Okay, and you get this little pop-up here. Now, this is the transparent version. The normal version, when you get it, will appear like down to here disable that, the normal version will appear like this. I like the transparent version because it just displays and keeps hidden on hovering over the top of your screen. So let's just go back to that because I find it a lot better. Okay, and there you go. And there's the transparent version. So I'll just grab that and I leave that hovering there. So when someone chats to me, their little face will pop up. Now, um, the little green icons tell you what people are available, and so you can click on them and then chat with them or send them a message. So I'm just going to, you can either click here or click here, but I'm going to go, hi, Denise, okay, and she'll respond. Now, if I have that away, you'll see the little icon pop up, so you get her chat response, but it allows that team collaboration to occur in a chat space, which is really handy. Okay, now I'm just going to initiate a phone call with Denise, a video conference. So then you just need to go and click join and this will initiate the phone conversation with that person or the video conversation with that person and then they'll it'll be ringing on the other end for them and then they'll answer. Hi Denise. Hi Dean. How are you? I'm doing great. That's good. So if Denise can now go and share her screen, she gets this little green icon in the top left. And this is a great way of collaborating online, being able to see what each, each other's doing and screen sharing. You can use it for training and things like that. And so this is me seeing Denise's screen. And then we can reverse it and I can also show her my screen. Now, during the conversation with the team or individual, you can also click this chat and you can type things down here and they can respond. And you can also share documents with them. So down in the uh, bottom icon here, if I click, I can then search my Google Drive for a file. Uh, it can be a presentation or a document you want to share with them. Okay, and you can then click and select. And then they'll get the link in their screen, in their chat, and they can open that chat and um, click the document you're referring to. So you'll see Denise now opening her chat. On the right hand side, she then clicks that link and there she is, she's now viewing that same document that I was. Now the other really nice benefit is um, to be able to get this on your phone. So I'll just bring it over and show my phone. And you can see the Hangouts icon here on my screen. Okay, 
and when you open that you can um, see the list of people so it instant instantaneously comes through on your computer and your PC at the same time you can make phone calls out through it if you like and um, you can also do a nice thing where you can join in the phone call from your phone which allows you to um, transition very quickly from Hangouts to onto your phone away from your desk. So if you need to leave quickly and still be in the call, I can click that there and join it on my phone. You'll see my phone start to initiate the phone call. So I'll click the top there, ongoing call. And on my computer, I'll end the call here. Okay, and you'll see now I've joined the phone call from my phone. Denise is still there showing her screen. Okay, and there's me into the conversation. And then I can reverse that. I can now go back onto my computer to Denise, join the call, and end the conversation on my phone. Okay, and so switch between the two. So a really nice way of transitioning from your desktop to mobile and still staying in the same conversation without interruption. So thanks for your time, Denise. Hope you have a nice day, and we'll see Bye. you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we hope you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough and introduction to Google Hangouts and how you can use it for team collaboration and scaling and decentralizing your business. If you'd like more tips and tricks like this, feel free to subscribe. You'll find the link below or on our website. Please share it with your friends and colleagues. Naturally, we'd appreciate that and give the video a like and give it a bit of a boost. We look forward to seeing you next time.